heard today, I think the both the litigation and public relations strategy needs to be around our shared humanity hmm. and the notion that you know uh, we to 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 think that we could divide up or assess who is more human mm -hmm. than somebody else is, is ridiculous. And so when you if it's a, if it's a cost and a health issue, you know, it's purely human rights and discrimination and our shared humanity. And, and certainly from a, um, uh, from a public relations perspective, I think contacting Larch and Jean Vanier to support that notion would probably go a long way. Yeah, yeah, that's very good. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Do you mind coming up and or and using the mic? Hi, my name is Elise. I uh, well, I guess I don't really have a familial investment in this issue, but um, just like a, an interest advisor. A citizen. A citizen. A citizen you the, care about? Yes, absolutely. Um, Uh, countries surrounding it, 
uh, about this case. And Costa Rica is horrified that Canada won't admit Nico. And there's been, I think, bills introduced into the Costa Rican legislature asking the Costa Rican president to talk to the, uh, to the Canadian premier. So this is something that, that really is a blot on Canada's reputation. And um, that is actually another avenue, I think, yeah. you know, to do some organizing yeah. and have some pressure yeah. come in. Yeah. We don't yeah. normally have that approach. No. That's good. Yes, you shared that. That's good. I have a question for John Ray. Um, I've been trying to find out who in um, Minister McCallum's office. I mean, he's been he's been presenting um, legislation yes. reforms of, of, related to the Immigration Act. But I want to know who on his staff or who in Ottawa is going to be an ally for presenting a new legislation proposal. Is there any possibility? You mentioned, John, that um, you've been doing this for a long time, and you did some. And so with the most optimistic of, of views, the fastest way to change legislation is to get the government of the day to propose a legislative change, and boom, it happens. Another way to change legislation is to bring a lawsuit that proves the, the, the existing legislation is not um, consistent with other aspects of law, or you know, that needs to be thrown out for a legislation leg uh, for a reason that has to do with a court case. But if, if we if we take option one, John, what who who are the allies in Ottawa? I mean, who can we talk to? Who can we write to? You know, to whom should should this social movement that we're building be addressed? Thanks, Ellie. What I always do when I write a letter. Is, is copying. Yes. I try to make one letter go further than the one person I'm sending it to. So there is debate in our community whether on an issue should we write to Minister Quattrall, the minister who's responsible for people with disabilities, and copy the direct minister or the other way around. I'm not sure. But I, what I think is important um, would be to make sure, given the move towards what we assume will be some kind of omnibus bill, don't know what it will look like, Minister Quattrall needs to be included as part of the uh, part of the discussion. So if you write McCallum, that's fine, copy Quattrall. If you want to write Quattrall first and copy McCallum, that's fine. And don't forget about the opposition parties too and their critics to the particular department and minister you're writing to. Make one letter go further than the one person you send it to. You want to put the NDP and the Tories for disability issues. I don't know offhand. Do you know, Michael? Uh, Rachel Harder for the Conservatives. Uh, and the woman from Windsor. Windsor. Uh, yeah, sorry. But we'll, we'll, when we'll we get this platform created, we'll, um, Get. Have, we, have we got numbers, uh, names, and emails? Yeah. Yes, that's oh, well, we've got you. Around. If you haven't signed it, it's on yeah. the table back here. It's just yeah. and we'll circulate Good. more information. Yeah, we'll circulate more information, absolutely. Yeah. We've been writing letters, but I think obviously the more letters, personal letters that get, get we've been writing organizational letters, uh, but the more that, that um, MPs are getting personal letters, the better. Individual we, letters got, are important, folks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Minister Qualtro is supportive of these issues and we've got good relationships with her staff and so these are uh, conversations but she's gonna have I, I mean there's a big there's a there's gonna be huge resistance to this yep. so we have a political a bit of a political battle so why, why is the um, disability considered when it's not the, no immigration is a lead but the way this minister has been positioned in this new cabinet is they're looking to her to bring a disability lens to all the policy issues. And a disability so, bill. Pardon me? And a disability bill. Yeah, and eventually the bill. But so it's it's just working with her and keeping her up to speed so she can be a strong advocate for our issues in cabinet and she's committed been committed to doing that. She doesn't have a lot of power in terms of, no. you know, fiscal power uh, or policy power in the government, but but she does have kind of moral sure structure. Right. Yeah. And then I think we've got to bring this to a close because we're gonna be uh, we're going to be kicked out. And there's, 
ice wine and coffee and things back there. Yes. Um, my name is Siobhan, and today I attend as a community member as well as someone who works in the community with immigrant and refugees with disabilities. So I'm so appreciative to be in this space right now, and I thank you so much for sharing your story. And um, as you're speaking, this is a story we hear a lot about. But the issue is, again, that mobilization piece that you spoke about earlier. Not everyone has access or the capacity to mobilize the community. There's a lot of fear and discrimination when it comes to disability and speaking around disability because many, of, uh, many folks still operate from that medical model, the biomedical understanding of disability. I'm wondering if there's a way, as you mobilize your case forward, uh, to bring families together so that it's not just one case, but it's us. It, 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 I think that shows us how the community is coming together because each case continues to be tried on a case-by-case yeah, case yeah. basis. And I think we, we've highlighted that a lot. But I think one thing we might want to do, one thing I would, I, I would suggest, if that's okay, is to bring the settlement and refugee community as well as the disability community yes. in uh, yes. so yes. these folks can be part of the dialogue Absolutely. also because there are immigrants and refugees with disabilities. Um, but we need to be having this conversation and speak to the, the to the systemic barriers um, on a larger platform. Absolutely. And that can only happen if we do it together. Yeah, yeah that's great. That's great good. advice. Okay. That's good. And, that, and maybe that's a good place to close. Can, you, can I invite you, the family, to say a few closing words? Yeah. En español. We've got lots of translators here. Okay, yeah, you're helping with the words. Uh, no, yeah, but others will not be. Okay. Thank you very much for, for being here and supporting us. But it, it's not supporting us. The main idea is to do that main community. It's, it's not to be isolated. It's not to be familial choice. This is human rights. And, and that's the goal. Uh, also, it's, still is bothering me uh, thinking in numbers and individuals and not in a family. We are a family. Mm -hmm. and, we, and we are taking care of our son. And we don't care about money. We care about human rights. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Thank you. And maybe just the, the like I said, the learning curve is continues. and. I, I appreciate so much some of these comments that have enlightened me in the last two hours. Um, it's super important, of course, to, I was making this distinction, yeah, between, you know, people with disabilities, they're not necessarily ill, but of course, you know, why, why make that distinction? Um, and other people have mentioned it, you know, our common humanity. Uh, this the vision that human that the uh, citizens or people are a burden on the state. Well, we all are burdens on yes. the state. We all use yes. the resources, yeah. and we all contribute in different ways, right? So I think celebrating that diversity of of humanity and celebrating what people can bring to the country. I mean, that's what this country is made of, you know, immigrants with so many different uh, abilities and different backgrounds and capacities. And to, to um, label people and to just reduce them to, these, to a, a, an economic cost is, I think, what we need to, to fight. Yeah, and that will include, and we all, you know, like I said before, we all get sick and we all, uh, so that should just be taken out of the equation because it is discriminatory mm -hmm. to consider that some people will be a cost and others not. Um, I think that's our common heritage of all of us. And so that should be eliminated and that clause 38.1c is all about cost. Um, so I think maybe by focusing on that, I'm not sure that's the right way of going, but by focusing on that clause, those 13 words yeah. that cause so much damage and division and um, yeah, division and, and, and suffering and also implicate everyone else to not an immigrant to feel that, you know, when is it my turn, maybe, you know. Uh, now it's the immigrants that, that are being uh, discriminated against. But, you know, I, I form part of that. I, I'm sick or I can get sick 
or you know, uh, my, my family history has Alzheimer's or has heart disease. Um, when is it my turn? And so, when when citizens eventually get ill, is that is, is that something to be ashamed of? It's a common it's a common issue of all of us, right? So we should understand that that's part of our humanity and just get rid of that type of uh, reasoning. Now, how to do that politically and effectively, that's something that we have to think about, right? But thank you so much. Great, thank you. So there's uh, uh, some cookies and some coffee and actually some some of that wine, what is it called? Ice wine. Ice said. wine, yeah. yeah. Thanks to uh, Philippe. A little bit, but uh, so yeah. please serve yourselves. Okay, great. Great. Good, good, good. good work. Yeah. Yeah, that was really good. So we need a, a, a list of... Make sure you... Um, yeah, can you help yeah. me? Yeah.